Vamos reagir a testei hotéis cápsula gamers. Hotéis cápsula gamers. Portanto, venham daí ver. Siga, siga ver o que é que os hotéis gamers têm para nos mostrar. Into right now is a gaming themed capsule pod hotel and it's unlike any hotel you've ever seen. Not only does it look incredibly cool, but it also okay. has features that I've never seen in any other hotel. Acho que já tinha visto o Edelcoff numa cena de, OK, não destas. Uma cápsula daquelas. One of the most technologically advanced beds I've ever slept in. But this isn't the only gaming themed capsule pod hotel. What? Aqui ao lado? More based around Europe, and I'm gonna fly out and test them all to find the best one. We'll go from cheapest to expensive and give them a rating. Oh, se vou lhes comentar aquilo, não é? Gravar um videozinho ou não? Experience, stuff to do, comfort, and lastly, value for money. So, without further ado, let's fly out to the first and cheapest gaming capsule pod hotel, which is in France. Now, ok. Hotel, I had to out to the 28 horas da noite. Vamos anotar os preços aqui, que na nossa cabeça. Para comparar. E este hotel listing looked a bit strange to be in a town like this. But then. This is it. It looks like the outside of a prison courtyard. You would not think that this place is a gaming hotel. Mas é que isso tudo, novamente. It's called Le Gaming, which translates to The Gaming. The gaming what? Despite its appearances, it only does cost $28 a night to stay in a capsule mm. pod bed here. So let's go and try it out. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. Não nada é ficha. Mas também quanto essa parte dá a volta a ser uma porcaria, né? So much to unpack here. It's time for a room tour. We've got four Mario Kart themed capsule pods, all with their own lights and plug sockets and We've got four of these, so if you have friends, unlike me, they can stay. Ah, mas é 27 well. pós por yeah, dia, tudo, não é cada cada cena. Um, but no Nintendo Switch. There's only a PS4. Next to the TV, though, we have the dining area, which is just bottles of water and kitchen roll. The essentials, really. This place also comes with an entire kitchen. You even have your own private bathroom. The bathroom is a little bit weird because they've tried to keep up the aesthetic of the gaming room, but it just, it just doesn't go. Like, why have they got a yellow toilet roll holder in this clearly marble bathroom? The room oh, is bah. completely filled with the game's nice. most iconic characters. We got Lara Croft, we got Pikachu, we got Sonic, we got Link, we got Mario, Jeter, we got I'm Batman, a... we got Donkey Kong. We've also got Mbappe. Not too sure what he's doing here, but we got Mbappe. <laughs> Initially, I thought the room looked pretty cool, but then I started to notice its little quirks. <laughs> the Mario pipe is a paint bucket. There is LED light. There are some, but don't work. There also seems to be a Christmas tree. All the games are really outdated. Like you've got FIFA 22. Sorry, FIFA 19. That's a bit of a catfish. The room, it's in a really weird position of being really cool, but also really average. Again though, 27 pounds a night. Like, it's not, Man, not, that bad. Compensar, it's not that bad. I thought it would be a good idea to do that. Eh? But there's only so many hours of Warzone that I can play before I get bored. So I took it upon myself to walk around the town to see if there was something that I could do. Yeah, this town. And the Marlins, caral! There is nothing going on here. Tá a ver aqui a cena da gaming, olha, vê esta merda que vais curtir. Até pode servir para a gente ir, mano. Aí uma cena em Espanha, mano, curtia, mano. Pós Vieira. Olha aqui o spot onde ele está a ficar. Guys, I've just woken up in the middle of the night because I've realized Mario has six fingers. Oh, that's what... What's all that about? After I woke what up, I realized fuck? that I wanted to charge my phone, but couldn't because the charging ports in man, my pocket didn't work. Balls, man. However, at least there was a built-in alarm. He has four of these, man. Or just push a second back so you can see. Wait a minute. Um segundo para perceber a ideia. Olha o spot, 27 paus para estas pessoas todas, ó. O tema do Mario, ó. Oh. Pá, fica lá um bocado no caralho aqui, supostamente. Mano, altamente, bro. Dá para quatro pessoas, mano. Bem fixe. Ok. Os gajos... Agora temos que ir para o próximo hotel. Então vamos lá. Ok. 
Se depósito era mais barato. Tenho o Málaga, Málaga, mano, é perto. Porque o hotel que estou em é o Arcade Hotel. Agora, eu já estive aqui antes, nesse vídeo aqui, que tem... Quite a few views, you could say. But I never got to try out their capsule pod room. One of these beds will cost you around about $38 a night. So let's go. Check it out. But the first thing that's the most important thing is that you've got to go in one of the coolest lifts I think I've ever seen in my life. Yes, I'm not. Seriously, this thing is still from top to bottom with Magic the Gathering cards. Okay. 108, this is our room. Magic the Gathering. Let's head in. Oh. Yeah, this looks sick. Look at this, we've got the four bunk pods over okay. here. And look at this, we got the whole gaming area here as well. Look at this, we've got an Xbox One, we've got a PlayStation One, and we've also got a GameCube. We've got here GameCube 14 Ultimate. controllers. Just in case we lose one, we have got plenty of spares. LED bathroom. Oh my God, this is crazy. We want it red? We can have it red. If we want it blue, we can have it blue. Now, the reason why there's so many retro devices in the is the whole hotel is retro. When you go to the hotel lobby, we have loads of retro arcade machines, top culture artwork, and overall, there's just loads of little geeky things around the hotel. There's obviously a space to play all the newest consoles as well, as well as an entire PC room and an entire outdoor area. Man, entire PC PC room, man, é wild. Tipo, vocês vão com cinco amigos, quatro amigos naquele caso, todos lá nezinhos jogar CS, man, jogar LOL. Whatever, o que seja, mano. But honestly, this is one of the coolest hotels I've ever stayed in. The amount of games that you can just play at will is incredible. They also have pretty much every single game in existence if you want to take one back to your room. I chose Black Ops 2 and spent the entire night playing it. Mano, era incrível, oh, Marlon. Foda-se. So many things to do here. You'll Tás tipo que vai jogar torneio internacional, mano. Só que na realidade não, mano. Tás só... Não, man. Tá só... Chilling. It's the room that matters, because I've had a lot of fun today. Other than that, though, I'm going to test this bed out and I'll see you in the morning. Não estou a ver esse vídeo, outro. Was a nice sleep. Now let's go on to the ratings of this place. For appearances, I'm going to give it a free. Like it has some really cool features, but there's also parts where I feel like it didn't look as cool. The beds were comfy, like incredibly comfy. I'm going to give it a five. 38 paus para um quarto. Dá para quatro pessoas, mano. É de graça. You will be occupied. Ou é 38 por pessoa, é que não percebi, mano. Pois diz night, só, mano. Eu vou dar 5, porque é insanely cheap. 30 pounds por um bed é incrível. Mano, 38 paus para 4 pessoas, estamos a brincar, bro. Para isso ser o preço, você tem que trazer 3 outros amigos com você, então, para esse preço, isso vai ser um 4. Ah, ok, ok, afinal não, é 38 cada um. Estava a falhar ali o homem. With a score of 16 out of 20, that currently makes the Arcade Hotel the oh, best hey, yes, hotel yes. so far. But the next one I'm visiting is probably one of the ne? craziest the hotels I've ever seen. Man. And to get to this one, I had to fly all the way down to Spain. Now, taking all these different flights with a cameraman... Yes, este é aquele mesmo classic, man. Este é aquele fodido, aquele que um gajo já conhece. ...that I'm most excited about. Future Hotel. The pictures yeah, of the place online look absolutely incredible. And it's only $57 a night to Spain. So let's find out if it's worth it. As soon as I entered, there was so much to look at. But before I did anything, I had to check out my room. Come through here. Cyber sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you already know. You already know. Just by this. It's about to go crazy. This is it. This is the one. Number three. You need to put your key here. And this. Oh. Mano, da cena, cara. This is the most insane. Aí dormimos em conchinha, outro. Ever been in, in my life, and I've been to a lot of gaming hotels. Let's just go up the steps. Oh. Mano, eu acho que era bom fazer uma cena dessas na tuga, mano. Se não estivesse massa, mano, não sei quanto é que custa cada capsa destas. 
Mas investi numa cena destas, tipo no centro do Porto. I've ever seen Acho que estava sempre in cheio. Life. Let's do a room tour. So in front of us, we have this incredible TV. You've got things like Netflix, The Zone, Twitch, Disney Plus. You've got games you can play on here. We've got a snap bar down here. We've got some lights, USB hub to charge your phone, air conditioning with this little dial right here, a little tray to keep your amenities. You even have a literal alarm clock built into the wall and two really comfy pillows. So now that you've seen my room, let's explore the rest of the hotel. Now I was going to start oh, off by going to the game zone as it does look incredible. We're going to check out the game zone as it does look incredible. We're going to check out the game zone as it does I've ever seen in my entire life. A lot of this hotel is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. But you'll see why in a second. Just starting off right here, we've got a smart mirror. It can display YouTube videos. What? So I can watch my favorite YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, bro. On this smart water tap. Oh, that's just that merda, man. Via touch screen. That's absolutely insane. But over here, we man, have. Man, meter é é um flex, man. You did see that just come up by itself because this toilet. Jesus. It's a smart toilet. You can heat the seat up. You can change the temperature of the water. So you can have hot water washing your bum. I haven't even tried out the shower yet, but it. Look yeah, so cool. Things. Like, look at all these different water jet Sim, blasters. This channel this hotel has definitely got the best bathroom I've ever seen. But will it have the best gaming zone? Certo, mas podia não ser, não, Marlon. Section, then. I want to see what sort of PCs they have here. Okay, not the most. Mas a parte gamer é tipo, ah, yeah, temos um PC. Okay, the, the keyboard oh, parece, is. Né? Fairly cheap keyboard, I can't lie. The mouse feels very good though. The PCs weren't amazing, but they also weren't terrible. I'll leave the specs on the screen for anyone who cares about them. And on yeah, this side of the room, session. we've got the gone, PlayStation 5 setups. They all seem to have Black Ops 6, Fortnite, Minecraft, Fall Guys installed. We've also got a futuristic foosball table. Snooker table with LED lights underneath. There is one, two, three, four, five, six different vending machines. And one of them sells burgers. And we actually have an entire kitchen. We got microwaves for pizzas and a mini fridge. So before I spent a night in my capsule pod, okay. I a drink, did some gaming. Parece some bem, não sei o que vocês acham, mas parece um bem. Pod. They're off this order, some KFC. You might be thinking to yourself, Dan, there's nowhere to eat this. But this thing right here, it's not a window cover. It's actually a table. It feels like a little bit of like a mini apartment. I've got like a mirror, a safe, a clock. I've got a table if I ever need to do like work or eat food, TV. Mm. I've got a bed obviously. And for only £45 a night, this isn't bad at all for what you get. Oh, man, it was now man. getting late. So it is currently nearly one o'clock in the morning. I'm going to set an alarm for tomorrow morning. Going to put the airflow on maximum, turn off the light, and I'll see you guys in the morning. E não parece ser assim tipo claustrofóbico, não é? Assim uma cápsula bem grande até. Was Future Hotel. What an experience that was. So appearance wise, I'm going to have to give it a five. It looked incredible. This was the best capsule hotel I've ever seen. Stuff to do, I'm going to have to give it a five. You have got so many options for things to do. I never have I imagined that I'd be able to watch my own YouTube videos in a mirror while brushing my teeth. Obviously, it has one of them magic toilets as well, so that raises it. For comfort, though, I'm giving it a free. The bed was comfy, but the bed sheet was very thin. It was like a piece of tissue paper. An overall value for money, although it has been the most expensive a night, it has easily been the best. I'm going to give it a five. You get so much value for money here. And now with this hotel taking the top spot, we can now move on to our next hotel. And to get to that, we had to go all the way back to Amsterdam. As this is our next hotel, it's called City Hub. It's $60 a night, and it's not really a gaming hotel. It's more of a very high-tech capsule pod. So let's just do a quick fire round. As you walk hey. into your capsule pod, you'll get a lot of LED lights, a to hang your clothes, and a lot of other cool technical features, like inbuilt speakers that you can connect your phone up to. Obviously, we've got the usual charging ports, and there is a place for you to hang your phone if you want to watch a video or a movie, although it is quite far away. You've got some little windows, a big comfy bed, and in the hotel lounge, there's some sort of ping pong table although I wouldn't call this ping pong anyways it was time to get to sleep and test out the bed so that I could leave my quick fire review no,
Good morning. City Hub was actually pretty good. For appearances, I'm gonna give it a free. It was pretty clean, but there wasn't much else to it. However, the bed was massive and I had an incredibly good night's sleep. So I'm gonna give it a five for comfort. In terms of stuff to do, there's not that much other than playing on this questionable ping pong table. However, you are in the Still middle of the so so game. I'm so yeah, I'm so I'm yeah, I'm it two for that. It's cheaper than a normal hotel room, but also it is still quite expensive. So for value for money, I'm gonna give it a free. So even though it's not specifically a gaming hotel, you can still get a bit of gaming done. And you know what? That score isn't too bad. So let's move on to the next hotel. Currently, Future Hotel in Malaga is in the lead with a score of 18 out of 20. But let's see where we're heading next. Why, why is that plane going down south? Don't tell me. Do not tell me we're going back to Spain. Hey, Granada. Também já passei lá, nunca fiquei em Granada, mas yeah, se é so renovada a cidade maior que fica perto, se é renovada a Granada. Ok, este é parecido com o outro. E aparentemente tem um monte de novas features que não vimos no último. O preço para um pod aqui é $77 a noite, então vamos ver se é melhor do que o último. Yeah, Vai ser igual, out, né? It's exactly the same, or so I thought. As later in the night, everything would change. But we'll get onto that later. Let's do a quick hotel tour. So just like the other hotel, there is a games room. However, this one's different in its own in unique zone. way. It's quite smaller than the last future hotel we stayed in, but the one thing I've already noticing about this gaming setup is how much everything's falling apart. Look at that. Literally, if you pull that off a bit more, that's broke. Surely they all can't be quick. Okay. Literally missing a wheel. Look at that. Okay, the chairs are pretty bad. Já foi fixo um dia, né? Can make up for it. Um, <laughs> this is probably like the most dodgy monitor ever. But out of all things, the PS5 is chained up. Like it is chained up. You could come in here and just take what you please. But the PS5. You ain't having that. Okay, okay, the gaming room isn't that good, but surely this hotel has some redeeming quality. Like, I don't know, an entire Sim, spa that you have access to. Which initially Bring looked the really cool. I was having a blast for about five minutes. If you're on your own, it's boring. I also noticed a camera in here uh, that was conveniently pointed towards the wall, but it looked like it was on a swivel mount. Is that legal? I, I, I don't know. Future hotel? I think you should remove this. But by far, the most heartbreaking thing that I found out was that these beds are not $77 a night. They're only $27. $50 of the package that I bought was for one hour at the spa garden. That man, is outrageous. So two friends wanted to stay here. It's a hundred crown for an hour. And it also technically means that this is actually the cheapest gaming capsule pod hotel at just 20. Oh, I, see, I guess we'll find out as to why it's so cheap. In the meantime, I went to go play some games in the gaming room, but we've only been playing for about 15 minutes and it's already dead. However, I think there are some really cool gaming cafes around Granada, so we're gonna head to one of them. It turns out that only a 15 minute walk away, there was a game of Mas assim, qual é que é você deixa? Porque eu não percebi melhor. Ah, ok, o pessoal está-me só a comer o caco. Mano, grande abraço, Olo. Muito obrigado. Espero que a rede, espero que a live tenha corrido muito bem, mano. Muito obrigado pela rede, rede. Crazy setups. This Estamos a acabar de ver aqui um videozinho. Highly spec PCs, great Wi-Fi, and it wasn't even expensive. E like, este aqui é, ó Malans. To play for a good couple of hours here. So I decided to stay here for a bit. I mean, Malans, este aqui é, é isto que eu estou a falar, caralho. Olha aí. Estamos no Major ou não? Isto é qualidade, mano. Isto é qualidade. For a good couple of hours here, so I decided to stay here for a bit. I mean, anything's better than. And abraço, all. Muito obrigado, man. This is. But eventually, day turned to night, and I was about to find out why this place was the cheapest of them all. Now, for starters, unlike the other hotel, this one doesn't feature a snacks tray or somewhere to put your wallet. However, it does have a half-broken ceiling that comes up if you just push on it. And you know what? I thought that was going to be it. I thought that would be everything that would be wrong with this place. But after a couple of hours of sleeping in this pod, I was awoken by a strange noise, which turned out to be... Yeah. The ceiling was leaking. Man. I was getting a bit worried about the structural integrity of my Pás capsule. Pás que este lá é este, mano. Este aqui é só uma merda. Since I'm awake, I might as well take my mind off it by playing some of the in-house capsule pod games. Unfortunately, the controller that comes with your pod Broken. Um, has massive stick drift. And when I mean stick drift, I mean you push the joystick to one side and it just stays there. Honestly, is there not anything in this hotel that isn't breaking or falling apart? Yeah, got another not that fish, man. Malaga estava bacana. There wasn't any magic toilet. The smart mirrors weren't even working 
leaving either. I'd had enough, so I tried to get a few more hours of sleep, but I ended up leaving early. So future Hotel Granada was not a pleasant stay. As you can tell, I've decided to leave this one extra early because it was not a good night. For looks, I'm gonna give it a three because it still looks pretty cool. Stuff to do though, there is quite a bit to do. Even though the gaming zone is quite bad, you know, you are in the center of Granada. You know, there's gaming cafes, loads of stuff to do. So for that reason, I am gonna have to give it a four. Comfort, I actually am gonna give this one a one. It genuinely, this was one of the worst night sleeps I've had this week. And for value for money, I, I cannot believe this one was more expensive than the Malaga one. So I'm gonna give it a two. And with that, these are the final scores of all the hotels that we visited throughout this You're video. like, well, it was Malaga, glad man. for being the best and worst gaming capsule pod hotel. If you ever go to one of these, choose wisely on which one you go to. Believe it or not, I've actually visited a gaming hotel that is even worse than this future hotel one. So if you'd like to see that, you can